The Heavyweight Ceiling Storage Kit is the perfect solution for turning your unused space into strong, durable storage. Assembly is simple and requires no special skills. Your Heavyweight Ceiling Storage Kit comes with the following parts. Four identical assembly brackets, four ceiling brackets, four support hangers, 24 bracket screws, 36 support screws, eight one inch long lag screws, and eight two and one half inch long lag screws. To complete the assembly, you will need the following tools. A circular or miter saw, a power drill or driver with a Phillips head driver bit, a 3 16th inch drill bit, a tape measure, a ratchet style wrench with a one half inch socket or one half inch box wrench, a wood stud finder, and a pair of safety goggles. Because of the size and weight of the heavyweight ceiling storage kit, two people are required to complete the installation. The heavyweight ceiling storage kit can be assembled in a range of sizes. Material cut lists for the most popular four and eight foot lengths are included. Assembly steps are identical for all sizes. For the four foot ceiling storage kit, you'll need five eight foot two by fours and one four foot by four foot piece of sheet material for the shelf. While standard plywood is an excellent option, particle board, MDF board, OSB board, or similar material can also be used. For the strongest shelf, one half inch thick material should be used. These materials can be purchased from your local home improvement store or lumber yard. If you are assembling an eight foot ceiling storage kit, you'll need six eight foot two by fours and one four by eight foot piece of sheet material. For this demonstration, we will be assembling a four foot ceiling storage kit. You will follow the same assembly process for all other sizes, making sure you cut all materials to the proper size for your unit. Please note, do not install more than two heavyweight ceiling storage units on any two ceiling joists. Begin by locating the ceiling joists in the area of your desired installation and mark their location with a pencil. The most common distance between ceiling joists will be either 16 or 24 inches on center. Confirm the direction the joists are running. The joists must run parallel to the side support assemblies of the ceiling storage unit. After confirming your joist locations, you can begin cutting the supports and uprights to the correct lengths from your lumber. Using the tape measure and saw, measure and cut two 36 inch long uprights from each of two of the eight foot two by fours. Cut one 46 and one quarter inch long front back support and one 44 and 5 eighths inch long side support from another two of the eight foot two by fours. And finally cut two 45 inch long cross supports from the remaining fifth eight foot two by four. When completed, you will have 10 final cut two by four pieces and five shorter pieces of off cut scrap material. Note, you may find it helpful to mark each of the pieces with their length to aid in assembly. Begin by placing an assembly bracket on both ends of one of the 44 and 5 8 inch long side supports. Next, place a 36 inch long upright into each of the two assembly brackets. Using moderate pressure to hold the supports and uprights in the assembly brackets, secure with two 2 and 3 quarter inch long bracket screws per corner. The screws will be driven through the brackets and side supports into the ends of the upright. Once all corners are secure, Set the side support assembly aside and repeat the procedure for the second side support assembly. Place assembly brackets on the side support. Place uprights into the assembly brackets and secure with bracket screws. Next, secure the ceiling brackets to the four uprights. Note, on one side assembly, the ceiling bracket must be mounted facing the same side as the open end of the corner bracket. And on the second assembly, the bracket must be mounted facing the closed end of the corner bracket. Marking the screw placement with a bracket as a guide, the top of the bracket should be centered and flush to the top of the upright. Drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole for each lag screw and secure the bracket to the uprights with two 1 inch long lag screws using the ratchet wrench and 1 half inch socket. Note, fully seat the lag screws but do not over tighten. Repeat this process with the remaining three uprights. Marking the screw placements and drilling the pilot holes taking care to secure the brackets on the proper side with the one inch long lag screws. Place a side support assembly against the ceiling at the desired location with the open end of the bottom corner bracket facing into the middle of the shelf, making sure the brackets are centered under the joist. 
Mark the location of the four sealing wag screws. Drill 3 16 inch pilot holes at the marked locations and secure the assembly to the ceiling using four 2 and 1 half inch long sealing wag screws. Fully seat the screws, but do not over tighten them. Next, secure the second side support assembly. For the 4 by 4 foot unit, reconfirm the position of the joist 4 feet from the first. Ensure this second side support assembly is in line and square with the first assembly. The open end of the bottom support brackets on each side should now be facing one another. Next, gently pivot the side support assemblies slightly apart and slide the 2x4 front and back supports into the corner assembly brackets on the bottom of the assemblies. Then secure with four screws per bracket. Place two support hangers, each on the front and back supports of the shelf frame, 16 inches on center from both ends. And place two 2x4 two cross supports into the hangers. Secure them with 24 one and one half inch long support screws. Finally, confirm the ceiling storage shelf length, measuring the distance between the inside of the legs. You will need to trim the shelf to match this dimension. Install the shelf surface with the remaining one and one half inch long support screws driven evenly spaced through the shelf surface into the rails. This completes the assembly of the heavyweight ceiling storage kit.